Hello again. We are in task one two spoofing ECMP packet. We are in lab packet sniffing and spoofing lab. We thank C lab again for this beautiful work. And this is only for educational purpose. So we have already sniffed our first packet. It was not intended for us, but we could show it. Okay. Here we are trying to make one that's not I asked like we are not pinging someone but making it seem like someone is trying to ping someone else. Like, uh, here what does he give us? He gives some indication like how you should make it. This one is like destination. Look here. He's giving you destination. If like here he does not give you source. The source what will be? It will be us by default. Okay. So what I am want you to know, we are going to try this and try to make it to six destination and the source should be five. Okay. Let's try it. If we do Python three, yes, and from people or import other things. Here we need to make an IP header and we should make an ECMP one the destination should be to uh, I don't remember maybe like this okay like this and the source should be who should be Five. This one we are assuming he is pinging this one. Okay, we need to a shark to capture to make sure that it's working fine. Okay, and our packet will be a should be like a liar above layer and here we are going to send our packet take it to file okay like this one is pinging this one we should see what we should see a reply from this guy to this guy okay if we send it look here we have a reply okay like I send it one, it's fabricated, it's not really us, but we got a reply. See, but if you see it's more accurate, what would you see here? Look, the source who is the source? It's our own MAC address. See, it's our MAC address. If I do exit. And this it's our own back address. So if we want to be more anonymous, we should change this one. Like if we do it like this and assume so we don't write again. This and source this source destination, destination source. I said it's a bucket. I don't know what's happening here. Sorry, destination source and our buckets. We should also define E. Is it there like Ethernet one? We should have like source, not us. It doesn't matter, but it should not be us. Okay. 
don't know if it's correct, but let's just try it. I hope it works. For God's sake. Let's falsificate this one with this guy here. More let's be more sophisticated and get this one. His map address. I don't like a coding in public because you make a lot of mistakes. Now that uh, everyone in is trying to not code in public, good. Only those who are confident are doing this, and I am not confident. Sorry. Is it sent? Yes, it's sent. Okay. We got it right and we got it response. And this one should be from who? Ah, yes. Now it's not. Now we are talking. It's not from us. Look here. It's from someone else. It's from this guy. Okay. It looks good. So this was what he wanted that to do, I think. And uh, here he creates uh, IP object da, 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 like this. And what I do is just okay, we can send this bucket using send line. Yes, I should explain this. So why did I use his here P? P is for like more lower, like we are talking, we are using Ethernet here. Ethernet header because we are defining an Ethernet header. We are saying to Scapy, I am defining my own AP Ethernet header, so make sure you know that. So you don't just make some Ethernet randomly like he did it last time. <laughs> okay, so I guess we have finished this part also. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this.